Hello guys, Salman Nassim again. Before moving further in a course, maybe you guys are already thinking that okay, it is the easiest software. No doubt about it. But what if we want to unlock our imagination further? We can bypass the limitation, but there are the lot of stuff but unable to implement in the previous software. So in all this scenario, let me introduce you to the Vyond, which is a easiest to the animation software. And the good news is now we can create Vyond videos with the help of AI. Like we are just giving the prompts and Vyond will give us the videos with the vectors and also give us leverage to edit these kind of stuff. When I am saying Vyond is the easiest software, that is because most of the stuff in a Vyond like the characters, props and everything else are possible to animate with just drag props. I will try my level best to teach you in this lecture as much as possible. You can also witness it in our demo video on our website. We'll go and test first at first we'll this the AI, which is recently introduced by the Vyond. We have to click on the button create a video. There is option for Vyond Go. We have very simple layout. We'll just have to write down the topic of our video. And the second thing is wipe. We have few options to select from it. The another one is format. And the last one is layout. Keep in mind the Vyond Go is still a beta. Without wasting further time, we'll write our prompt. So I have write down the very simple prompt that is the importance of US relation with Pakistan. I will select I will select the wipe the informative and uh, the format is overview. I think it, it is good for me. It is good. We have few options to select from the layout. Uh, I think that one's. I think the campsite is looks good for me. I will select that one and create and click on a create video. And we already saying light camera option. So we want automatically so we want automatically create a script for us and that is between two characters and you can already see there are the background characters which we can use if we want. We, we still have the option to edit the script along with the timeline. And the best option is we can edit that specific complete video in a studio in a studio believe me as a content creator it is a game changer for us because that will take take a lot of time for us when we are working on beyond for the animation we'll click on a edit in a studio it will take us to the studio where we can edit the video as per our list let me introduce a little bit about the layout on the left side we have everything related to the things crack props, characters and text on the right side whenever we select anything the animation options will appear over there at the downside in the timeline we have different slides uh, similar to the powerpoint you can say and we have the audio there is some music and the dialogue between two characters and that is our canvas the reason you are seeing two cameras over here is because of the camera animation if we select this one uh, and go for the camera movement there are the camera animation involved over there we can easily replace the character if we want for example i want to replace that that character with this one we can easily do that and we can add further character for example two characters are not enough for us we'll go and add it another one like uh, i will search a gun over here that little girl i will place it over here and still we can easily add the dialogue to that specific character which we have added we'll just have to click on a dialogue there are the option to record with the mic there is the text to speech option upload the audio audio or use the existing audio option i will use this one text to speech because there are the ai inside that also uh, for example just for the try i i will copy that text to there because we are just trying currently we are just trying i will place the text over here we all automatically detect the language for us if it is not detected we can use any language if we want and we have many voices over there and the best part is we have also AI generated voiceover 
we can preview the voice before using it for our character and there are number of voiceover options available in a male and in a female section also we also have few options in a voice style like the tone speed and the pitch once everything is finalized we'll just click on a generate button it will automatically generate the dialogue for us as you can see there is a dialogue over here we can just right click on the dialogue and click on a play button well, you're we have the kids standing over here the voiceover is for the adults i will select that and replace it with the woman after after doing all this stuff we will go in a dialogue section there is all, already a dialogue placed over there we can easily add further dialogue over character as per our script requirement let's save that and explore the more and explore more option in a beyond go back to the main screen and we'll go there then click on use template the best part of beyond is that you'll just have to learn one type of animation two other types will come as a complementary for example if you have learned the character any character and all other stuff in a beyond for a business friendly animation you will have the knowledge of whiteboard and contemporary also let's see the template which are which are available over here we can also make the filter of whiteboard over here and we'll go for that one use this stuff when i'm saying different type of animation in a beyond that's mean we, we have the option to create the business friendly animation whiteboard animation and a contemporary animation so we have number of templates available in a whiteboard also in a whiteboard and a business friendly animation we can easy we can easily filter out by using these filters and also we can easily create our own templates to use it for our animation in there is also a inbuilt character creator i will select the business friendly over there and we'll go there we'll select these three dots and select the option copy and edit the character it will take us to the inbuilt character creator of beyond here we can create our own custom characters if we want as a as an example i have uh, bring the already exist character but we can create it by the with the scratch with all these limited options for example i want to change the eyes so we can change it like that we have the option for the tops and the bottom and lastly the accessories one is very interesting we can add unlimited accessories as per our requirement for example i will add this one and i'll go back add another one and select this one we'll go back and add another one that way we can create our own custom character if we want give any name to the character and save it to the library close the character creator and let's check the last type of animation which is a contemporary i will go back to the template section this one is a con this one is a contemporary style animation you can see we can we can see there and that one is also a contemporary style so it is also poss possible to create these kind of animation in Navion. Click over there and use this tab. Uh, so it is a contemporary character with the text on a first screen. And on a second screen, we have the camera animation and the few, few animation also involved. Like we can go further in a scenes, the whole story. We can easily replace these already pre-made templates. For example, I will select this one. As you know before, we can replace the characters with the contemporary one. And also if we want to replace these props with anything, that is also possible. For example, I will place it with the car. I think that one is fine. We'll use the police. We'll use a police car to, uh, instead of uh, sign. Just to give you the sense of understanding that we have better ability to unlock our imagination with the help of Beyond. The last thing is a character animation. For example, I will select this character and we'll go the actions tab. There are number of options available and we can preview before applying it. I will select this one and click on apply button. Automatically start animating with the all these uh, with the help of all these pre-made animations we can also control the expressions like for example i will select the confuse 
and lastly there is also an option for the motion path for each and every prop selector and everything we have option for the entering effect and the exit effect same goes for slides but for the slides we only have the entering effect that we will manage for complete video so that is just an introductory type of lecture if you feel any difficulty regarding the beyond or anything in this course feel free to ask me i also have a detailed course on a beyond so thank you so much for watching see you see you in the next video with a lot of more in ai